I've been fascinated by all kinds of mechanisms, robots, electronics, for as long as I remember. And the physics, the engineering, the algorithms, they are very exciting, but my real passion is about how we experience these artifacts. My passion is design. Interaction design is an interdisciplinary field that builds on computer science and product design. Our approach is what we call research through design, where we try to invent new things and the process of building and then using these things is our research method for studying people and technology. In product design and engineering, robots are like the most difficult thing you can work with. If you're building an industrial robot, you have to make sure that its behavior is precise and stable, so it's not only accurate to work with, but it's also safe to be around. Measuring and validating the quality of your robot is challenging. First of all, because it moves around in multiple dimensions, but also because sometimes you're not supposed to touch the robot. So in a scenario like this, a fast and accurate visual motion capture system like Qualysys is very helpful. This is the engineering use case. But it actually gets a bit more interesting than that. Recording the robot's movement and analyzing it are not the only things you can do with the Qualysys cameras. I'm very excited about the ability to track several different kinds of robots and to stream control signals to them in real time. So we can track robots and drones and props as well as the human body in the same calibrated coordinate system and build experiences with movement, controlling and in a way collaborating with these robots. The experience of looking at images on a screen is very different from being in the same room with a physical, tangible thing that can move around you and respond to you. Our project is about the user experience of an interactive drone, and it's very different from any visualization you can put on a screen. You can move your body together with the drone, and you become very engaged since it's a real, physical being in the room with you. The larger drones, like the ones that photographers use, are really cool, but they produce a lot of noise and a lot of airflow from the propellers, and it's just plain dangerous if they crash into something or someone. We have these tiny drones made by a Swedish company, Bitcraze, that are quiet and safe and kind of cute. The drawback of the tiny drone is that it doesn't have all the sensors and all the computers that you get loaded on its bigger brothers, so precise control of the flight path, detecting other objects, responding to human movements. For all of these purposes, we use Qualysys. I'm interested in biosignals. Experiencing and playing with a connection from the body to another being, in this case the drone, can help us advance in how we sense and influence our own bodies and behavior. The prototype we're building now connects a wearable breathing sensor to the drone, and the drone becomes almost like a partner as you learn and practice breathing exercises. One of the most interesting things about Qualysys, in my opinion, is that they have this extensive collection of open source software and resources for all kinds of platforms, Unity, Unreal, Python, the robot operating system ROS. Over the last few years of working with Qualysys, I've not only utilized, but also contributed to these. A couple of years ago, I actually met another researcher who lives on the other side of the world, in Australia. We exchanged messages on the Qualysys open source platform. He had the same hardware and the software, so we started collaborating, and we actually became really good friends. We published a lot of research papers together, too. Uniting the physical and digital worlds is the holy grail of human-computer interaction. We're grateful to Qualysys for one of the most versatile tools to accomplish this and actively supporting and collaborating with researchers like us. But also with institutions such as the Visual Arena at Lindholm and Science Park here in Gothenburg, Sweden. Qualysys is bringing us closer to our vision.